probably should be recording right now. Here we go. Why is the why is the live stream always like that? Why does it always gotta be like that? Hmm. Anyway. I think the I think the voice sounds really good right now. I think I think we sound okay. Hey guys, welcome back. It's another it's another chat, another live stream with the boy. The boy, we're gonna play No Man's Sky. This is gonna be this is gonna be a good one. No Man's Sky was made a few years ago now. Um, and we have one more one person watching. At least. No Man's Sky. This is the loading screen to get in. Those are all this is a um, is a flyby of the um, the map the the space. Space. This is what the space looks like. You get a map if you're when you're in space you actually get to see a map that looks like this. And it, it shows your local, you know, solar system. This is a map, this is a game where you explore the galaxy that you were born in. And there's a story to it too that'll get you to a different galaxy. But um, No Man's No Man's Sky is known for being the largest game ever. <laughs> it is if all, everyone on Earth played this game for 24 hours a day, it would still take like 10,000 years to get to every star and every planet if we all did a, 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 every if we all did a single star system in a minute, which we wouldn't do. Could you imagine spending a minute in a star system and then immediately skipping the loading? This, this game would actually take us millions of years to get through with all the dedicated players trying to get to all the places, you know? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Ridiculously large. This game launched and it was kind of a letdown when it launched because Extreme night radiation detected. Because of that extreme night radiation. No, okay. Uh, we can see now, kind of. Let me get in my ship. I'm gonna recharge my my stuff right here. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Okay, so this is No Man's Sky. Night radiation here. Um. I want to see if there's things that I can do in my settlement. This is, this is the little, this is the little settlement that I, that I discovered. These are all, these are all different things. Uh, but when this game launched, it was a little underwhelming since they they launched it to be a uh, a pretty uh, innovative game. But it took a long time for the the features to come out. Ooh. Is this like a farm? Desperate to hide. That's cool though. Did he ever give me that? I don't think he ever gave me that. I need, I need to make heat capacitors, but I do not have enough salandrium. Gonna have to go find some of that. Is that what this guy needs right here? I think that's what this guy needs. Well, this is an extreme 110 gold. Oh, I can do that. Uh, oh, this is it right here. Why am I glowing right now? Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a storm going on. That's okay, this game is also quite loud. I don't exactly know how well you can hear me. Um, unless I go to these quiet places. Sometimes, I mean, well, well now there's a storm going on, so it is quite loud. Make a policy decision. This is, so this is my settlement. These are new, if I, if I think, if I remember correctly from the last patch notes. Um, uh, fund welfare measures or fund productivity movement, I improvements. Uh, well, I'm just started going positive. Our advisors keen to improve the settlement polling indicates 51% approval for improving citizen welfare, while 52% approve increasing industrial output. I don't know about you guys, but that does not add up to 100%. I do not think. Well, 52% approve 
this one. And plus, I really want to increase my uh, productivity, even though... Yay, productivity, view settlement status. Um, I'm making more per day, but it's still going to take me a long time to clear my debt here. Uncultured, yeah, my the settlement is uncultured, but I'm slowly replacing those. Actually, pretty quickly. I didn't think I'd get to do that very much. Population hasn't grown. Happiness started at like 12%, so we've grown quite a bit. Um, increasing productivity. Quantum trading floor, huh? Productivity. I'm guessing that's the line for how much productivity you can get. Oh, Sentinel alert. That's coming. Um, so, yeah, you get to... There's, here's a base terminus that has all my bases and stuff in it. Let's get back to my ship, shall I? So I can be a little quieter. Where is my ship? Right over this way. Woo! Whoa. Still, we're still in this storm over here. Extreme storm. Oh my god, it's like red. Ah! Okay, so you start the game. I'm just gonna get off the planet now. Alright, so this is the planet, and now I'm going upwards. Eventually, we'll get into space here. Because this is what the game's all about, really, is getting into space. I've left. I think this is like the upper atmosphere right here. Yeah, yeah, she'll say that again. Alright, alright, let's pause here. And have a look around, shall we? I'm trying to slow down here. Looks like where where do we come from? We came from here. So they when you're close to a planet, they render the clouds pretty pretty good. But if I'm looking at that one, it's a bit farther away. They don't render it so much. But they'll tell me what it's all about. Solanium? Oh, I need to go here. They have sol is that what I needed? Solanium? Is that is that Solanium? Yeah. Oh my god, wow. Right in my solar system. So okay, so there's so much I don't even understand half of what any of this is for. All of this, it's like the only survival game I can think of that has actual elemental stuff here. Dioxide is just carbon dioxide, it looks like. Um, but they said they changed the name of some things a little bit, but they have like uranium, phosphorus, cyto, uh, that's not real, cobalt. Uh, ferrite is just iron, but you know, Silicate powder, which is just like, I'm assuming silicon, chlorine, salt. Why do I even have chlorine? What do we use that for? Carbon is a positive, a, a, um, a positive one, a uh, common one. And then you can get condensed carbon too, sodium nitrate, which is real. And there's just, you can just get regular sodium. Don't I have sodium? Sodium, yeah, sodium right here. A copper. Copper, I don't think in real life, I don't think stuff like indium is real, but uh, maybe we got platinum, we got gold. There's so many different things, but on the on the top, I'm in just in the menus, and I, uh, my exosuit, this is my exosuit. Then we have my current starship that I'm in. It's only B class, but I actually really love it. Um, it's a great, it's a great one. Multi-tool, this is like the, what you used to manipulate the world with, and I have, Lots of attachments on here. I really like this multi-tool, even though it's only B-class again. Weird, though. And then... Freighter. We just skip, let's skip over Exocraft. We don't need that. Your freighter is your big ship. Like, your big, big ship. And you don't get that right away, but once you go through the story a little bit, it's uh, you get a lot of it. Or you get, you, you get one. You only get one of these. You don't get more than one of the freighters. Well, I'm in space now. Let's go to the here. Um, a, g a cool thing, it says I'll get there in an hour and 51 minutes. Well, this stream is probably not going to be more than an hour. So we have to go faster. You can go this fast. With, and I'm not using any fuel right now. That'll take me 15 minutes to get there still. But if I want to go faster yet... Oops. Pulse engines. That takes fuel, but... 
then all I need to do is just watch, just sit and watch, and I'll be there in 30 seconds. Um, in the meantime, we'll talk about this episode's sponsor. Ooh, that was a big one. Wow. That was a good one. That was a good one. Um, uh, that, that's all. I'm not actually sponsored. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> well, here we go. We're going to go down to this planet, which apparently I've already been to, and I'm going to collect some selenium. Selenium, which is like the banana peel. Okay, now we're closer. It's going to render a lot more. And it won't... And it looks like I can see the ground. I could there for a little bit. Let's see if we can scan. I just put out a scan. Anyone see anything? A settlement? I'm just gonna fly a little around a little while until I see a settlement. Oh, there's some. Is there a place to land? Landing sequence initiated. Alright, I know nothing about this planet other than superheated air. Okay, what's the temperature? It'll tell me the temperature. 200.1 uh, 200, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, I don't, I don't care about the light. I thought it was a save beacon. Waypoint? Whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of clouds on this planet, though. Definitely not a paradise planet. Minor settlement detected. Oh. Arrive in four hours. Alright, that's cool. Uh, if I just stand there, I'll arrive in four hours. I need a pass for this. What else is here? I need some of that solar vine? It's 500 units away. Ooh, we can start. So, every time you see the question marks on the left, when you zoom in on something, you get to scan it. So that thing right there? Oh, I've already scanned that. Uh, those things don't exist, apparently. That thing I've never seen before. So I'll scan that. Fireberry? No, I don't need fireberry. What is that noise that's going on? Pure ferrite and carbon. Interesting, though. What is that? What is that? Hazardous flora. Oh, I don't even know what it is. What will it give me? Oxygen? Yeah. Usually those give you oxygen. I'm just gonna perceive some of these. Unwavering. What is that? A knowledge stone. Knowledge stone teaches you language. Um, solar vine, 500 units away. Man, I, I've been here, but I didn't scan very much today. And you get you get some units for, receive, for looking at those. Um, what's this one? Solar Vine 600. Buried Cache. All those are really interesting and necessary. Landed Pilot. Solar Vine 516 units. Ooh, those are the... Where is he? Oh yeah, see that guy? That's a Sentinel. They're like the enemies of everybody. They're perfectly docile until... Ugh. They're perfectly docile until you want to, like... What does that give me? Alright, to mine things. That gives me nitrogen. To mine something, you just gotta shoot it with the laser. What is this? Oh, I should, uh, I should recharge my heat shields here. So all these right here are, like, my, my heat shields, so you just... I need phosphorus to do that. Might as well charge that one, too, while I'm here. Okay, let's go. I need to get the Salandrium. I need a, a fair bit of those, too. Where is it? Ah. You get a jetpack, at least. Woo! Um, oh, damn. It is... I have to do a little traversing. That guy will be mad if I start, like, doing stuff. If I start mining stuff, they get really mad. I'm not sure. Ooh, that one will give me phosphorus, though. Yeah, you phosphorus.
How much phosphorus do I get from that? Six. What are you? Sometimes they're not friendly, just so you know. Oh, what is this? Fireberry? What does the fireberry give me? It gives me fireberry. Nice. Okay, don't know. Don't really want that. Solar vine. I'm halfway there. Halfway to the solar vine. Okay, what is this guy? Where is he? That guy I've met before. Yes, he he's the guy with the green blood, okay. Woo! Hey, here we go, solar vines. So much noise in this game, isn't there? Unidentified, might as well identify you. If you wanna turn the volume down, you can. It's just really loud for me. Maybe I can turn my volume down here? Wow, I can hear myself so much better when I turn my volume down. This game is kind of loud. That gave me... Oh, man. I better get... Good thing there's a bunch here, because I think I, end... I think I need like 400 of these guys. Oh, a super heated storm. I think the last time I was on this planet... Ah, shoot. So the Sentinels, they don't want me taking these. I'm not sure why. They're just everyone's enemy. But last time I was here, I got picked up by a... Uh... Does he, does he want to, no, he, I think he's fine with me doing this. He just doesn't want me shooting anything with a laser. Again, no one owns those, those robot things. Oh shit though, I gotta keep an eye on this. I only have one. I got, I actually got picked up by a tornado. I actually clipped it too, I should look it up. Do I have enough of these? All right, let me try making the uh, heat crafter. Oh, I can make, I think, I think I only needed two, but I should, I should just gather the rest of this stuff now that I'm here, you know? Might as well. There's a lot, actually, I didn't consider how much there is here. Come on, give me all of you. I know you're there. Give me 30, okay. I think I only needed two. Oh, solar vine. Ah! Don't have to do it again? Okay. So once I got all of these, I'm just gonna go back now to my ship. So it'll tell me where my ship is this way. Oh my god, look at the wind though. Ooh, that's harsh. I might want to hit up that minor settlement, but maybe not. There's a lot of wind here. Oh my god, tornado! Ah! Oh no! If you hit the ground hard, you'll die, but... Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't see. Oh my god. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh my god, please don't kill me. Oh my god, no! I'm stuck in this door! Oh my god! Oh my god, thank goodness. Holy cow. I need to recharge uh, that with oxygen. And then why don't we just do this again? Boom, there we go. Holy cow. Oh, there it is again. Oh my god. Ah, no! Oh, I, I know what to do, I know what to do. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I did not anticipate I'm getting stuck on this planet. Holy cow. But yeah, if you build, uh, if you dig, if you dig down in, then heat gets, uh, a little more reasonable. The pro problem is, I need to get back to my ship. And I don't want to just dig the whole way. But I might have to, you know. 
Eh, wouldn't be too bad. What's that? Oh, he's at the bottom. Sometimes there's like a limit to what you can dig. Damn. Well, I mean, if, if someone was going to ask me what this game was like all about, I think I would tell them, like... Oh, thank goodness. Wow, I'm on the edge of a cliff, though. I would tell them that this it's about exploration. Oh my god, does it say 400 degrees? Oh my god, let's go back in here a little bit. To where it's a nice, comfortable 100 degrees. Uh, okay, my ship's just right over there. Woo! Okay. Alright, let's keep just walking. Let's just walk. Before another freaking blizzard comes through here. I feel like, why do I feel like the wind is trying to push me around right now even? It's a windy ass planet. Oh yeah. Where did my ship go? Hey, do you know where my ship went? Sodium, sodium. How far? How far do I got? Oh, just 270, okay. Whoa! It's all a matter of uh, it's all a matter of opinion if you like this game or not, really. That, that's true for any game. I'm just saying it to get the clicks, you know. Got to give me those clicks. <laughs> give Papa some clicks. Okay. Not enough fuel, so you need launch fuel here. Where? So it's in my technology. That just gets charged with uranium or launch fuel, which I actually have launch fuel. Might as well use it. Oh yeah, that settlement. I'll go look at that, see where it is. Uh, is it really gonna take me eight minutes to get there? Let's go up into the atmosphere, because then it'll, it'll be quicker, because you go faster once you're like out of the atmosphere. Kind of go super fast. I'm still technically in the atmosphere. It's a, uh, it's it's like not super realistic. The more you think about it, especially once you figure out how like the the solar system, like how each solar system works, is the planets don't actually move, so you can like. I think so they can stay relative to each other, you know? Um, so they can stay relative. So when you look up, you see the same thing. But the day and night, so it's like the sun goes around the planets and such. I'm still a bit away. I do not like foggy planets because you can't see the ground. How do you know if you're gonna smash in the ground or not? There we go. What is that below me? Oh, just a feature. Looks really weird though. Minor settlement. Oh, they have a helipad. Sometimes you can get cool stuff out of a settlement. Let's see, how do I land there? I'm not landing on the launch pad. Wow, I'm just like by the launch pad. Great. If you actually get to land on the launch pad, like it locks onto it, why not? When you actually lock onto it, then it doesn't take launch fuel to land to to go back up. What is this weapon terminal? What do we got here? Uh ooh, wait, is this the one I have? I do want to compare it. Oh, it's like the same. I think I would have to, uh, I think if I, it's like the same thing, yeah. 
excuse me. It actually has just one more slot, technically. It's missing that one right there. I don't know if anyone notices that. But uh, yeah, no thanks. Although I do like it. It's hard to find good ones of those. I don't. I haven't found any yet. What are those? Encrypted navigation data. <sighs> Oh my god, that was a half-ass sneeze. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just drinking my sponsor. And the other sponsor. Whew. What's over here? Is it out? Yeah, that's out. Uh, you can find some cool stuff. Oh, there's a person. What's up? He's a, he's a geck. He's my kind of guy, man. Technology merchant. Uh, everything's procedurally generated, including the names. So they're all like random digits and random letters, kind of that kind of makes sense. Beck Ernals wares include blueprints for craftable technology, as well as many of the components required to craft them. Purchase blueprints, shall we? Ah, uh, classy. I don't want any classy things. Cool it, nah. Yeah. Do I not even have all 120 nanites? Buy for 80. I have more than 80 nanites. Get out of here. Oh, I, I already know all that stuff. Okay. So let's buy. Oops. Yeah. Oh, new friend. Welcome to Prosperous Gek System. Odun Archive. <laughs> Trader's best prices. Purchase components. Oh, look at if If I could have just bought the. Hydraulic wiring, interesting. Quantum computers, salvaged data. I can buy salvaged. Oh, it's it's well. I mean, I do have six hundred and seventy-six million. <laughs> I can just buy salvaged. Data. Usually, it's it's not too, it's not too hard to get. But like, why did it just wiggle a bunch of those digits? Get out of here, digits. Navigation data, I eh, don't really care about microprocessor, I can make that amino chamber. I don't know what half of these things are, man. I know I'm gonna have to, I know I'm gonna need them eventually. How much, I have a lot of this weird stuff called activated indium. Where is it? Oh, is it not gonna show because you can't see my ship? No, yeah. Okay, Incoming storm. All right, let's get off this planet. I don't need this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get stone <laughs> product. Yeah, launch. It takes launch throws. Or no. Let's get off this planet. Let's go back to. Uh, actually, so this is the rest of my system. Let's show you something. Something else here. If I hit start, how do I get there? Oh, down. And then galaxy map. Okay. This is the big beautiful galaxy. And right now I have this system selected. And it'll follow and look at it. That bright light is the galaxy's center. And it's so freaking far away. If you see in the top left, I'm in the Euclid galaxy. And I'm 719,000 light years from the center of the galaxy. And if I hit circle and go to this system, so I'm in the big blue star, that's where I am. This system is five light years away. And the center of the galaxy is 719,000 light years away, which is a lot of light years. Uh, I think the Milky Way, in, compare, in contrast, I think the Milky Way is only like 300,000 light years across. Let me, let, me, uh, let me fact check myself. I wanna be held to that and I wanna know that I'm right. How wide is the Milky Oh, the Milky Way is only 105,700 light years wide. Okay. 105,700 light years away. So I, I, this, this is, this galaxy is, and I'm on the outer edge. I'm assuming we double that for how wide it is and this this galaxy is like 15 16 17 times wider times bigger in diameter than the milky way galaxy okay that's good to know um some of these systems are the ones i visited before um 
Where am I up here? Ilaust. This is like my home home planet, kind of. Ilaust. Or no, these aren't planets. These are stars. So I can select this. And, uh... Oh, I can warp there right now. I can select it and see the, uh... The stars there. I can see the planets on them and stuff. So I can see that the one I'm in now has one, two, three, four, five planets. And if you look at the planets, you could see if they have a moon, which it looks like. I know, I know. Ooh, one planet, the second one does. Is that the only one that has a moon? I'm on that moon then. That's like where I, where I am. I named that moon Active Horror. How close is this? What is this? What is this one right here? That's five light years away. It has one, two, three, four, five planets, and looks to be no moons. Sometimes it's hard to tell. And this one right here is, I need a cadmium drive, interesting. Hevsko Hev Hev has two planets and a moon. No data unavailable, scary. Okay, I can just leave. Because I'm not going anywhere else. I do, however, want to show you my my other ships that I have, which would be really cool. Space station. Yeah, my, my thing's right by the space station. So while I'm in here, that'll take me, what, a minute? 50 seconds to get there? We can go into my starship, technology. I'm using the pulse engine right now. Let's just top that off with some tritium. And the launch thrusters, let's just top that off with some uranium. It's nice to do here. It's nice to do, you know? Um, settlement status running smoothly, current building projection. Oh yeah, so once we get there. Uh, I love this effect. This is a cool effect. And it doesn't take any loading either. Um, I'm assuming it is loading slightly when I'm on my way here. Oh, I am going to make Anomaly detected exit pulse to a Oh my god, what is that? Stellar intelligence. Okay. I don't really wanna... Oh god. Let's see what it says. Uh, stimulus anomaly. Depolarize, impulse, remote, synapse, accelerate, clock, repolarize, rest. Disconnect communicator. Oh, it disappeared. Okay, never had the screen. Oh god, oh god, no. Well, I'm by my capital ship, so any hostiles will die. What do you want? We offer a trade deal, friend. Your units or your life. Oh no, whatever will I do? Let's comply. Fuck you. Very well, friend. Let us move on to more aggressive negotiations. Is that them right there? Oh, shit. Pulse drive is disabled, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, he's hitting me. Well, it's a good thing that my people have ships. Ah, weakling. Where is he? Where's that bastard? Oh, he flew behind me already. That's what you get for attacking me next to my capital here. What is he have? Got chromatic metal. Got hair talk. Give me something good. That's the space station. Sweet, sweet. That was cool. All right. Good thing I have deployable security right here. That was a very convenient time to get hit. Let's go into my capital ship here. Woo! 
That guy was very accurate, too. Yay, we're in my capital shit. <laughs> I like how it brings you in and spins you around. Oh, you know what I never did? I never went and uh, I set I set my fleet to go. That was probably more than nine hours ago. I set my fleet to... Because uh, all those little ships that were out there were my frigates. And uh, you can set those to go on missions. And I had one of those missions going. Oops, which one? Oh, this one. Fleet Command Online. Calibrating to Fleet Commander. You hear of the SV-8 Essen. Debrief Command. Focus combat distance covered. Ah, uh, let's see what I get. Like, it'll give me stuff. Entered the sector, battled smugglers in the atmosphere of planet Imin. All hostiles destroyed. Reward. Oh, we got a bunch of units. Uh, forcibly remove pirates from a base planet. Genome vault contains confiscated bounty claimed. A chromatic metal 702. Nice. Encountered pirate fleet. Destroyed 63 enemy vessels. Reward 261,000. Patrolled Ergasta system. Conflict level high. Bounties claimed 89. Magnetized ferret 702. The next one. Reward. You can read all these. They're cool. Enemy starships. Successfully lured back in range of fleet cannons. Yeah, these guys are, were way overpowered for this mission. Um, dispatched boarding crew to investigate distress signal from merchant freighter off officers. Freed from brig. Mutiny averted. Mutiny averted. Nice. A lot of units. End expedition. Chromatic metal. Magnetized ferret. Wait till it says how many units I get. Unit credits. We hit a mil, 1.1 mil, nice. Nice, that's, that's pretty good actually, I think. Ooh, so now they're back home. So is that in my person? I have some of that, so it doesn't matter. Fireberry, let's uh, I made two of those. Oh, you know what, I don't need, I don't need nitrogen either. I mean, if you think like it would be cool, but not in the game. Dihydrogen, which is funny. There's not just hydrogen. There's dihydrogen. Ooh. So let's. Multi tool. Freighter. I can actually, you know, go into all my inventory now. Oh, here we go. Activated indium. One of these is worth 10 million units. One of these stacks of 9999, 10,000. Um, so, like, I have what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 full stacks of this stuff. What happened to this one? I'll never know. I know one was there, though. Hmm. Hmm. Like, I am even. Oh. No, that's regular indium. Activated indium and regular indium are two different things. No, that was all of it. I thought I had more than 11. I thought I had 12. Nah, actually, wait, I thought I only had 10, so it doesn't matter anyway. Let's go down back to my settlement so I can start to have a thing. Because I was looking for, so long I was looking for a solandrium to make the heat capacitors, because I need two heat capacitors for crafting something down there. Oh, here's all my other ships. Some of those guys are cool. Actually, let me... Let me get in some of those ships. Do I have anything in this starship that I need to... Uh, wow, it is full of stuff, though. Oh, there's the there's the other one. <laughs> okay, why couldn't I sell it earlier? I don't know. Okay, so there is 12. I was right. Well, let's go into this one here. This is my big boy. This guy has tritium hypercluster. We could just add all this. Okay, that gave me a few. Gold nuggets, gold, a lot of valuable stuff. Wiring looms, not really valuable. What is this? Anomaly detector? 
anomalous homing device, a single-use geometric beacon that probes the surrounding area for near-space anomalies, such as objects that are highly unpredictable. Okay. Begin scan? No. I don't know where I got that. Let's, uh... How's the... Oh, it's gonna be... How's the, um... Charging on this guy? Deflectors. Hyperdrive. Oh, yeah, this is the one with the most, uh... Hyperdrive right? No, it's not. No, it's not. I know which one does have that, though. Launch thrusters, good. Pulse engine, good. Let's go. And my destination is... One of those. Oh, 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 go to... That looks Japanese. Oh, pulse engine. Can't do pulse engine right next to a large ship. Here we go, 20 seconds there only. It's the moon of this planet right here. This planet is, uh, yeah, that. And that is, uh, that planet is active horror. I called it active horror because, well, that's where we started, it's the radiated place. Beginning suborbital flight. I think I'm good. Yeah, I couldn't. You can't see the ground there. Oh, but there's an. Uh, this is cute. This there's a. Uh, I think that's the start of the rainbow. There's better places where you can see it. Oh God, you can just hardly see the ground. I do see it though. Is that my settlement for real, Oh, I see it. Wow. I hate coming here during a storm. But you just gotta. Alright. Uh. I need to find the. Oh, storm's clearing. Nice. I think there's like high winds on here too, but definitely not as much high wind as there is on the other planet. Crazy. These guys, this is a place where people live. Man, this is like mega rads. Mega Extreme radiation detected. Extreme. Here we go. What is this? Oh, this guy just wants time. Right? 42% complete. Not even sure what that was. What is that? What did I just see? What are you? Are you my big teddy bear creature? Oh, I already seen you. Uh, where's the, uh... Is that this? Right over here? Here we go. Yeah, two heat capacitors. Ooh, nice. Nice. Multi barn. That's oh, gonna take an hour and a half, which which means I'll just come back to this tomorrow, and it'll be done. Was there not? Um... Oh, that's this guy, right? I could have just landed here. It's hard to see. Plus, other people land here and take up my spot too. Fucking a. What is this? Call starship. Oh yeah. Oh, I need navigation data to call. It's right over there, dude. Don't need to navigate. Uh, those are my vehicles. They're, they're not really exciting either. I mean, they're kind of exciting. But, like, functional, not as much. What is even in this one? There it does. Penum Gym. Things that I might need later. How do I have any level of activated indium in here? That's my question. Let's uh, put that there. Also, I might have some new. I just have a lot of that though for some reason. Now, I do have 17 navigation data. How did I get this? Huh. 
Anyway. I feel like unstable gel. A highly reactive gel. I didn't even know any of that. I can just get rid of it though, really. Oh, this is the fast one. Huzzah! Let's go see. Let's go see if I can make any more decisions. Probably not. No pending decisions, but I can view how in debt I am. I'm still gonna need like 16 hours to get out of debt. But you know what? We're gonna be positive soon. Settlement is in debt. Settlement productivity is increased and debts are reducing. Debt will now be automatically repaid over time. Yay. Yay. We still should try to decrease that. Increase productivity. 20 citizens. Yeah, you can only have one set. This is a B-class settlement. Hey, didn't I start level C-class? I thought it was just a B-class. Oh, now it's just B-class. What are you? Are you okay? Passing the time. That's good. Hi, partner. We're passing the time. Um, and you know what? That might be all I have. No one came and watched, but that's okay, because I really wanted to show someone this, uh, I really wanted to show someone this, uh, this game. Let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, there's, there's crafting, too. We can go inside here. There's, if I wanted to craft some stuff, I'd put a base computer down. The problem is it was is it won't let me put this a base anywhere near here. I can't put a base anywhere near here. But once I can put a base, there's more stuff that I can... There's more stuff. This is only one tab of the stuff that I can build without having a base. But once I have a base, there's so much more that I can build, like construction, like walls and building parts and batteries and solar panels and mining equipment and... Uh, anything. I can put a save beacon anywhere if I want to. I don't have metal plating for it though. But... Colossus Geobear. Yes. Atmosphere Harvester? What is this? An automated siphon unit for the collection of valuable gases. Oh, interesting. By the morning. Incoming storm. Uh, without the need for supervision. Alright. That's cool. And the save beacon is good. Can I just put a save beacon anywhere? That would be one thing to wonder. Anyway, I'm gonna go back in here, and maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll do this live stream. Oh, that guy's floating. Here, let me let me float with you, man. Let me float with you. Yeah. So that was it. I just wanted to show you that a little bit. Maybe maybe you'll come on. Maybe you'll play this game. It's a good game, I think. Um. Interesting. That guy can apparently go through walls. I didn't know about that. Anyway, thanks everybody for joining and uh, uh, have a nice night.